and today we're talking about the art scene. So stay tuned, we're getting started right now. So hi y'all, welcome back to another episode of Your Wichita Falls. I'm your host, Debbie Toppins, and art in Wichita Falls is over the moon. Let me tell you about some of the other fun things that there are with the art, with the art scene here. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite events in Wichita Falls is the Art Council's Los Muertos downtown. Now it only happens once a year and it's coming up right around the corner. It's on October 30th and it is basically Dia de los Muertos. If you ever saw that Pixar movie about Dia de los Muertos, it's like that. It's a celebration of life. And if you've never participated in a Los Muertos celebration, it is festive and alive, and I'm getting goosebumps because it's so celebratory of remembering our, our loved ones that have passed on. But the color, oh my gosh, there's so much color, you can't imagine it. And people are dressed up and their faces are painted and there's nothing, nothing, nothing like it. And they have, obviously they have vendors, they have exhibits, what they call these little memorials to their loved ones who have passed on. And if you've never experienced anything like it, it is just absolutely phenomenal. The procession is to die for, and I can't say enough about it. And it's actually at the time of year where the weather's beginning to turn a little chillier, and it's still comfortable enough to be outdoors. I can't even tell you how exciting it is. So if you've never been, please come out and if you've been before you know exactly what i'm talking about so it's right around the corner and of course there's incredible food the art is incredible and you just get lost in all of the masks and the costumes and the celebration and of course you don't want to miss the main event m-a-n-e the main event was originally begun as a leadership wichita falls project if you spent any time at all driving around in Wichita Falls, you've no doubtedly seen these iconic fiberglass horses that are all painted and decorated. Well, guess what? They were decorated by local artists. A business or an organization or even an individual could commission one of these horses to be created. They are stunning and represent the local flair and flavor of our community. So if you drive around town and you see one of those horses, you might want to just start seeing how many more you can find because they really represent our community of supporting not only the nonprofit leadership of Wichita Falls, but also leadership Wichita Falls supports nonprofits with these projects. So Patsy's House and a few other things were the beneficiaries of this leadership project with all of these great horses, the main event. A great day is to see how many you can find in an afternoon. So for those of you who just want to visit specific mains, I posted a link to where they're located in the body below. And then, one of my favorite theater lovers can find plenty of quality live shows year-round in Wichita Falls. One of the local favorites is Backdoor Theater, which I love because I'm in improv, is located downtown it was originally the People's Ice House and was built in 1920. Its thick brick walls create terrific acoustics. So obviously they had thick brick walls, they were keeping ice in there. It has that amazing acoustic sound, not to mention great insulation. So the back door has a reputation for producing high quality Broadway style productions. And believe me, if you go to a dinner theater there, you not only get great entertainment, you get food, and you can bring some wine. They have two stages, the main stage and the dinner stage, which have produced over 600 productions and concerts. So not only can you just go for a production, you can go for a concert. The Wichita Theater, which is the other live performance theater we have here, began in 1908. It's designated now as a Texas historical landmark. It was originally a vaudeville house and then they transformed it into a movie theater from 1939 to 1979 and then having come full circle the theater once again produces live musical entertainment on its stage shadows of the original building remain today and if you know where to look you might find the bricked in original opera house windows 
it's incredible and always the quality of the performances are beyond beyond because we have so much talent in Wichita Falls and you know MSU also has an impressive theater department and they have um, performances there every year principals study in the MSU classroom are applied in a season of three or four major productions so check out MSU for their productions because there is not a lack of comedies or dramas or musicals or any other type of performance in our Wichita Falls area and at MSU. One of the things I love the most about Wichita Falls is the art scene and if you have any questions about any of that or you want to share something that you've experienced in the art scene put it in the comments below. As always if you want to schedule a Zoom meeting with me and experience more about Wichita Falls or just check in you can schedule the Zoom meeting in the first comment below. And for now, stay tuned for the next two videos. And as I always say, y'all come back now, you hear?